do these smiling exercises in the mirror. And I did it every day for years because when you smile, you feel happiness. And when you smile, you feel inspiration and you feel the joy for living. And for years, I felt none of these things. And it felt Mr. Toastmaster, fellow members and guests, the story I'm about to tell you is a true story inspired by a man who had absolutely nothing to give except for a smile. Every morning on my way to work every day, I pull up to this intersection in downtown Seattle, and that's where I would see him. It was just a homeless man standing on the side of the road with a cardboard sign. Now, the weird thing about this man is that he was always laughing. Even when it rained out, and it rained a lot, he would come up to my car and he would show me a sign. And I would read his sign, and it always had some corny joke on it. And then I would look at him, and he'd be doing this. <laughs> He'd be cracking up. And then I would start to smile. Not because of the joke, but because of him. He just looks so happy. And here I am. I have a great job, great home, great family and friends. I'm living my dream as a filmmaker. And I was miserable. I have all these things that are supposed to make me happy. But they're not. And I feel lost and completely alone. And then there's this guy who has absolutely nothing, standing in the rain with a sign trying to cheer me up. I want to know this guy's secret. So I decide to find out. I have an idea. What if I make a film, a documentary about his life on the streets? So one day, I pull over, I get out of my car, and I approach him, and I'm feeling nervous, but I go up to him and I say, Hi, uh, my name is Peter Faze, I'm a filmmaker, and, yeah, sure. Um, I'm curious, would you be interested in making a film about your life with me? What do you say? And he's just staring at me. Yes! You know, I always knew somebody would ask me that. His name was Russ. People on the streets call him Shadow. He agreed to do the film. And for two weeks, we're filming on the city streets of Seattle with my camera. Accumulating hours worth of footage, hours worth of interviews, and I have absolutely nothing. I have no secret formula for happiness. He just wasn't being the real Russ. And as I'm about to pull the plug on the project, I have one final question for him. I asked, do you have any regrets? Peter, man, out of my whole life, I have one regret. I was a rotten husband to my ex-wife, and she finally kicked me out. I had a great job, I had a great home, and I lost everything, and I ended up on the streets. I was homeless and suicidal for two months. And then one day out of the blue on the street corner, I write this joke on this cardboard sign. And people start to laugh. And then I, I start writing more jokes and more signs, and then more people start laughing. And I know it sounds crazy, and I know that I'm nobody. But finally realize what makes me happy. And what makes me happy is making other people happy. Shadow, that's fantastic, but do you ever feel lonely? Yeah. Every night before I go to sleep, I imagine I'm holding my wife, and that's painful. But you, you gotta 
Use your pain for something good. You gotta use your pain for something good. I understood what he meant. And we continued filming. In the sweltering summer heat and in the bone-chilling dead of winter, he is still out there with his signs making people laugh and smile. But it wasn't until the very last day with him when I realized what brought Shadow so much joy. We finally finished the documentary. And with the completed film, I brought my laptop to him to show him. What, man? What? What? What, what, do you, what do you think of your film? Peter, I feel like a movie star, man. I feel like I'm somebody. And then I realized Shadow's magic. Whether you have a film camera or a cardboard sign, when you put your energy into the benefit of another human being, you discover the true meaning of joy. And I no longer have to do this <laughs> to feel this, right? That's right. But if you ever find yourself in downtown Seattle at an intersection, and you happen to have a frown on your face, don't be surprised if you see a strange man with a cardboard sign trying to make you smile. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>